Is your puppy's nickname Land Shark? Are you struggling with puppy nipping like no other? Well, fear not, my friends, because in this video, I'm going to share three easy hacks to help stop nipping and puppy biting ASAP. So let's just jump into this video, right? Meow. This is my little brother. You heard that correct. Wally. My mom just got a new puppy. He's almost 10 weeks old. He's the sweetest little nugget, but he did have some nipping issues that we had to work through. And I want to share what those three easy tips were. And the first hack is hand feed your puppy. So a lot of people talk about hand feeding your dog during mealtime because it helps with bonding, which is true. And it helps train them with basic obedience sits and downs, which is also true. But what people don't also realize is there is a third added benefit and bonus of hand feeding your puppy. Because if you do it right, and I'm going to show you exactly how, it will also at the same time teach your puppy to be gentle and not use their teeth when they're working with you or your kids. So what you want to do first is grab your puppy's meal. Most puppies do best when they eat about three to four times a day. Then what you'll do is you'll work with them on just basic obedience. Yes, I'm talking day one when they come home. I don't care if your puppy comes home eight weeks old or 12 months old. Start by working on basic sits, basic downs, basic not jumping up and grabbing the food for you and just having all four paws on the ground. And then when you're giving the puppy the food, this is the key part, guys. Hold some of the food in your hand under your thumb and wait until the puppy only uses their tongue to get the food. Then you gently release the food, having them kind of work for it gradually. What this does is teaches your puppy impulse control and teaches them to be gentle with you and that they are only going to get what they want, AKA in this situation, food, when they don't use their teeth. It surprises me how few people actually take the time to do this easy step. Each feeding session could be as little as five minutes up to 20 minutes working with your puppy and breaking up their meal into five or 10 different little basic commands. The command could be as simple as don't jump on me begging for the food. If your puppy's not food motivated, you could do it with their favorite toy and give them their toy whenever they're being calm and not using their teeth to get the toy out of your hand. I also want you to pay close attention to your energy. A lot of times when puppies start nipping and they seem like they're being persistent with it is because your energy is high, whether you're amped up, you're stressed, you're angry, you're frustrated. So sometimes it's best to remove yourself, maybe have a family member or you're one of your roommates take the puppy and just care for it in a calm quiet room sometimes puppies have a hard time relaxing themselves just like me kind of I kind of get amped up like when I make these videos because I love them so much thank you guys for being here but sometimes puppies need help calming down so sometimes it helps with nipping puppies to just calm your energy dogs feed off of your energy but there's still more that you have to do to make this work fast so this next hack is almost two hacks in one it's kind of hack two and three and it is the icing on the cake when it comes to stopping your puppy from biting and the first part is i love teaching the marker command right away literally uh, my mom adopted Wally and got him when he was about eight weeks old. By day two, we were already starting the marker command. And if you're not familiar with what that no is, no worries, because I'm going to explain and show you how to do that right meow. So basically a marker word is simply just a way to definitively tell your dog and communicate with your dog that yes, what you're doing right now is what I want you to do. And dogs, even puppies naturally and biologically want to please you. They're, they love working. They love being given a job and they love knowing that they did that job correctly. I always love explaining dogs as opportunists. They're looking for the best opportunity to get whatever it is makes them happy. And most dogs, it's treats or food, toys, and or praise or play. So with Wally, what we would do is we would wait for him to give us a quick eye contact. It could be for a split second in the beginning. Yes, good boy. And as soon as he gave that quick eye contact, we followed it very like at the same exact time with his marker command, which is Y-E-S. And at the same exact moment, yes, there's a number of steps, but I promise it's easy with his reward. In this case, it was a toy. It doesn't always have to be, you wanna get a little tug of war? It doesn't always have to be treats or food. Um, and sometimes it can just be praise or play. So let's try it again. Can you let go? Okay, come over here. Boop, boop, boop. So he wants the toy. We're gonna hold it back. Yes, we waited for that eye contact and then I'm gonna play with him. And so you do that 10, 20, 30, 50 times a day and you're gonna teach that puppy that 
oh, anytime mom or dad says Y-E-S, that means I'm gonna get something positive. And over time, you can start randomly phasing out the reward. Sometimes they get the reward, sometimes they, ow! Go get the toy, go get it, it's over here. That's kind of a foreshadow of what's about to come for some tips. Here you go, good job. Uh, but the more you practice this, the quicker and faster your dog's gonna learn Hmm, anytime mom or dad says Y-E-S, then that means that I did something right and something good's gonna come out of it. And the best part about it is you are going to build such a strong positive association with that word that when you say it, it's going to mean something to the puppy. And why this matters is hack number three to stop your puppy from nipping is when they go to nip you. Come on, pup, pup. Let's see if we can get him to nip me. He's getting better at it, but he's still just a baby. Okay, pup, pup. Put my hand down here. Okay, come here, come here, come here, come here. Come here. Okay, ow! So I'm gonna yelp, give him a toy, and ignore. Yes, good boy. Okay, I don't know if you saw that very well. That was hard to do, get in frame, and time it right. But simply all you do is when they nip you, you give your ouch or ow. See how he kind of looked at that? Just to kind of stop. I'm not yelling no, I'm not screaming, I'm not kicking the dog, anything like that. I'm just kind of giving a little bit of a yelp. Kind of like, oh, I need to get this in frame. Kind of like what their mom would do. I replaced myself, I'm, instead of me being what he bites, with something of value. He loves this toy. As soon as he latched onto this, what did I say? Not after, not before, but as soon as his mouth hit it, what did I say? Oh, that camera, <laughs> that was scary. But I said, yes, Y-E-S. You do that enough times after you practice the marker command and even in conjunction with all of this because your puppy is smart enough, I promise, they're going to learn like, okay, when I go to nip mom or dad, they I get startled by this loud noise. I'm not screamed at, nobody's yelling no at me, but I get startled by a loud, ouch! And then if I instead go to my toy that I already love or my ball, um, they tell me the Y-E-S command and every time they tell me the Y-E-S command, I start feeling kind of good because they've really worked with me on that. And that, my friends, is going to be the fastest ways that you can stop your puppy biting. Now, there's still a few more pro tips that I want to tell you. First off, it's really important to understand why puppies nip. So many puppies will nip because they're bored. They are growing fast. They're high energy in many situations. And so that is why I recommend hack number two and three, which is to work with your puppy during mealtime because you will kind of get two birds with one stone. You'll be feeding them their meal, which has to happen anyways. And by working with them, asking them for basic sits, basic drop its, basic downs, things like that, really easy things that any puppy of eight weeks or older can learn, uh, you're gonna tire them out because mental stimulation always tires out a dog, especially a puppy, more than physical exertion any time of the day. So let's make sure your puppy gets exercise. Now as young puppies, we don't want them to over exercise. So that's why I really over index on the mental stimulation. If you wanna know a little bit more about my thoughts of what I do with puppies and exer exercise, you can click the video up here and all my video links are down below. I also want you to realize that sometimes, and I know it's not intentional, but you as the mom and, or dad or your family, or your roommates may be giving puppy in a, attention when the puppy's getting bit. So you may say, no, don't do that. Oh, you silly puppy, blah, blah. You talk too much. I, I, You guys have watched my videos and I'm guilty of that too. We talk so much to our dogs, they start drowning us out. So that's why I love this marker command, Y-E-S. It's very simple, very easy to understand, very easy to remember as the pet parent. And it's a really way, clear way to communicate with your puppy. And the third reason a puppy may be nipping is because their teeth hurt. They're teething, we all know that. So if you want to know some of my favorite chew toys, especially for puppies, I do have uh, links to all of that, plus crate training, potty training, all that linked in the description down below as, as well up here. But I want to introduce you to this awesome tool, which is the Groove. I recently learned about it through the company called Diggs. Uh, I have their crate for Wally. They sent it to us. They're not sponsoring this video, but they did send us this Groove crate training tool as well as this crate. If you're new here, you may not realize that I have fostered dozens and dozens and dozens of rescue dogs, most of which were puppies. And so I've done the crate training. I've done the potty training more times than I can count. And so I've tried all the crates from the wire crates, the soft crates, the plastic crates, the big uh, anti-anxiety crates and there are some really good ones out there, but I never found one that met kind of everything I was looking for. Easy to break down, durable, functional, and really important because crates are big and they're clunky as it is, 
aesthetic, something that looked good, something that would last me a long time, easy to clean, easy to manage, and something my dog would be secure in. And so finally, I found digs, and so I'm really excited about that. I have the video linked down below going all about that crate if you wanna get in detail for it and special links for that down below as well. But their Groove crate training tool was a lifesaver for Wally because it really, one, helped him learn to love being in the crate. So it helped with crate training, but two, it helped him relieve his teething pain because what we do is take his raw food. Yes, he eats a raw fresh food diet. If you don't know what that is, click the video linked up here or my links in my description below. And I'll go into great detail about my favorite foods for puppies, but we put his raw fresh food on it, freeze it, then put it in the crate. And because it was frozen, he would gnaw on it and he would just love it and it would really make him feel better. I'm so happy we were able to have that product. So for us, that was a huge, huge benefit. Now, if you just wanna go into detail right now about my favorite food for puppies, click the video link right here and I'll jump over there with you right now and we'll go talk about that. But if you want to know a little bit more about my favorite harnesses and treat pouches, then click the video right here and I hope you have a beautiful day.